here are the ingredients that we need for our nachos basically this is a pre-measurement so means we don't need to measure the ingredients good day guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching and for all my new subscribers thank you so much as well today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make an easy nachos and just to let you know guys this is a free measurement so means that we don't need to measure our ingredients you can add a lot more onions a lot more capsicum a lot more beef cheese etc it's up to you so this recipe is gonna be a free of measurement right so I'm gonna show you now what are the ingredients that we need for our nachos right so what are the ingredients that we need obviously we need a taco seasoning we got a chives in here we got a onions tomatoes red capsicum you can use the green one it's up to you we got an avocado in here but this avocado i'm not sure actually if this ripe but a little bit it's soft but we'll open it later or we're gonna slice it later let's see if it's ripe if it's not ripe then we're not gonna use avocado on our nachos no, my, my avocado. but this avocado if no, it's not all right, is that your avocado? That's fine. Okay, yeah. say hello. <laughs> right, Michael said this is his avocado, right? Okay. It's mommy. Right, so if that avocado is not ripe, we're not going to use it to our nachos, but it's okay, not to worry. It's not. It's not ripe? It's this one. All right, can you say hello? It's dirty. Can you say, Kamusta? Kamusta. Kamusta, Kamusta. All right. We need the corn chips. Obviously, we need a shredded cheese. We got a black beans in here. We got a red kidney. What if there's no black beans available? It's okay if you can only use the red kidney. It's fine, not not to worry. We're gonna use the salsa dip as well. Obviously, we need jalapeno. I love this one. I like a little bit of spice on my food. But with this recipe, um, Michael's can have it because it's it's gonna be spicy for him. So I'm gonna cook something different for him for his dinner. And aside for that, we need a sour cream as well. We need the beef mince as well. Alright, guys, let's start making our yummy nachos. This is now ready to put in the oven for 150 Celsius degrees for 15 minutes or until the cheese is melted. Right, so let's put this now in the oven. Our 
guys, our nachos is finally done. This one, and it looks good. And it smells good. So, what we're gonna do right now, Shempre, we're gonna taste it. Right. And I still have my sour cream in here. You can add more if you like. And again, this nachos recipe is a free of measurement. So, there's no measurement. It's up to you. But anyway, pick my natin siya. Right. The cheese. Mm. So crunchy. I'm gonna add sour cream. Taste it. Mm. This is really good. It's not spicy actually. Because I didn't put a lot of um, jalapeno. But it's really good. Mm. This is really good. And it's easy to make. You know what? I'm gonna have this with cold, cold. I think next time I'm gonna add more jalapeno so that it's much more spicy. But it's really good. Alright guys, this is the end of this video and I hope you enjoy watching this one and if you have any suggestion for me to film guys, let me know and you can comment down below. And yes! And I hope to see you on my next one. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.